Hello, everybody, and welcome to the chest room, the new uh, the new storage room in the base. So if you guys saw the last episode, we ended, I was in the middle of moving chests downstairs, not downstairs, but um, yeah, downstairs, I guess you could say, because there's stairs here, although it's uh, <laughs> it's kind of also up in the middle of the sky in terms of being on a ridge and stuff like that. Anyways, this is the new, oh, don't fall down all the way. <laughs> that hole, by the way, goes all the way down to practically bedrock i think it's like layer five or so so that yeah you don't want to fall down there Any, anyways so this is the new chest room and i moved all the machines down and so now there are no traces of the base the uh secret hidden base on the surface except for a few holes here and there but and the dirt that it just broke just like a couple minutes ago um and yeah there's like no traces of the base this needs to be fixed a little bit and that needs to be fixed. But aside from that, we're good to go. Anyways, what we're going to be doing this episode is we are going to be doing... Well, there's three things on the agenda to do this episode. So one thing I think is probably not possible, at least not at the current stage that we're at. And then there's two other things. One of them seems pretty easy, and then another seems pretty easy as well. So we'll see how it goes. But anyways, what we are going to be doing this episode is we are going to be... The thing that I think is not possible this episode is, if you've seen previous episodes, we ran out of lava. So we have a big system set up down in the basement with a big, huge lava tank and everything like that, and I'm not really going to go jumping down to find it because that's going to be quite the uh, quite the distance and going to die and stuff. But anyways, we have a big, gigantic lava tank down underground, or at least we did have a big gigantic lava tank. Now we have a big gigantic empty tank because of the quarry that we have been running all the way over there, which is hidden in the mountain over there, because this is a stealth base after all, you know? So anyways, so that's the thing that we've been doing, and I was hoping to get more lava running this episode, but more details on that, it looks like it's not possible just yet. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, what we're going to be doing this episode is we are going to be doing two things. Hopefully, if we get the time. One is I want to get the door sorted out so that the door will end up having a piston system with, like, turtles and hidden, uh, hidden doorway and stuff like that so that you don't know that the door is there until you, like, walk straight up to it and then you like press a button or something eventually i want it to be on proximity control so that we hold a pocket computer and then we just go up and walk up to the door and then it opens but that's not yet because we're not there yet so i'm hoping to do a simple thing with the door also in the other section of the base which by the way i filled in the floors in between episodes i filled in the floors between like of the base so in section two of the base there's no ladders yet but in section two of the base, all the floors are filled in. And I kind of offset them a bit from section one. So as you can see, if we dig in through here, then you can see we've got basically our floor is here and there. And then through the, the base, the floor is there and there. So kind of to make it a little bit more interesting, less usual, a little bit of, uh, of different different things happening here. But in any case, we need a staircase here. Anyways, so that's one thing we're hoping to do. I'm hoping to do this episode is get the the door working better. And another thing is that in that side of the base, down like near the bottom, there's a lava, not a lava, there's a water lake. And we have a turtle water remover system set up, which was, I actually built that in a previous episode quite a while ago. So if you want to go check that one out. I think it's called Turtle Water Remover or something like that. I'm not sure what exactly. But anyways, the turtles have no power, and we have no coal to... Well, actually, we have some coal, but coal, it takes a ton of coal to do the thing. Each turtle needs to move roughly around 500 blocks, and each coal gives 80 fuel points, so that would be multiple stacks of coal to handle the entire thing. So instead, we're going to be using coal coke for that turtle water remover because that lasts longer than coal and so we need to get the coke machine running to get the coal coke that we need so that is the idea and i thought that was full but apparently it's not okay so that's gonna make things easier so anyways 
We're going to do those two things this episode. It's going to be more of a simple episode than usual. We're going to do those two things of getting the door working to be like a hidden door and stuff like that. Whoops, there goes the sugar cane. So we're going to be getting the, the door working and then also going to be getting the coal into the coke oven and hopefully getting the water remover running, although maybe not this episode, maybe some, maybe next episode or something. Anyways, hopefully you enjoy the video and see you later. So, first thing we're going to be doing this episode is starting with getting the fuel, the coal, into the coke oven to get it running, and then we'll head on to doing our other things. So let's see, coal, there's some coal coke that can go in that stack over there. Let's go and find some coal, there's got to be a lot more coal up on the surface up here. So that's the idea. So anyways, our power situation. So we're going to talk a bit about the power situation first of all, and try to get up this mount, and having a lot of lag right now, it's not helping. Um, so our power situation is an interesting situation, and then after that we're going to get on to building the hidden door. Or at least the hidden door version 1. Whoops, ah, wrong button. <laughs> there we go. So our power situation, as I said, we ran out of, and if you guys have watched the previous episodes, you probably know this already, but we ran out of lava in our tank downstairs. And so that's a big problem. So, oh, there we go. The coke oven is on. So I'm going to come back later to give it more coal and stick the extra coal into the chest for now. So we ran out of lava. So I want to try to make lava make more lava without having to go find new lava lakes all the time. And by the way, if you guys have any suggestions, I'm going to open the F3, but I keep getting weird drops in frame rate, and I don't know where they're coming from, but just suddenly my frame rate will drop. I'm, a, I'm suspecting that there's a machine or two around the place that are slowing it down a lot. So, but I have no ideas as to which machine that might be. So... I'm gonna get that, give that a shot. Um, fi figure that out. Uh, figuring, <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to figure that out. Uh, keep an eye open for what's happening. See which machine it might be. But anyways, so the plan is to go ahead and yeah, let's get going. So over here, I just forgot everything I was gonna do today. <laughs> okay, technical difficulties. One moment, please. Um. Oh yeah, so the that's basically the power system. Let's start in on the auto door. I completely forgot. I just said what we were going to be doing, but I completely forgot what it was. So anyways, let's start on the auto door. So the auto... Oh! Oh yes, okay. Hang on. So the power system. Sorry about the uh, the scattered thinking this time. Um, The power system. We need to make some lava. So I want to make some lava. The way to make the lava is to get a crucible. That's what we're going to be doing this time. So crucible is, you smelt an unfired crucible. Crucibles basically, they can make lava. You stick cobblestone in them, and then you put a heat source around them, and then they'll, they'll melt the cobblestone into lava, basically. And that is the idea. So it's really great, really helpful and stuff like that. 
However, we make it from an unfired crucible, which requires porcelain clay, which requires bone meal and clay. Clay is the easy part, because we have a lake that is, like, right over there um, a ways, but it's, like, full of clay. So that's the easy part. The hard part is the bone meal, because the bone meal takes bones or chemicals. Chemicals, it takes titanium, which, if you saw the previous episodes, we spent ages trying to get some titanium to be able to make a machine that was... Oh, by the way, I removed... I don't think I put this in the last episode, but I removed the um, the blueprint projector image that it was projecting because that was kind of obvious as a way to find where the base was. So it kind of made it not a hidden base. So we're going to have to move that somewhere else. But anyways, so we've got a... What was it? We've got... Oh, yes. So we need titanium. It took ages to get titanium before. So that's going to take ages to get the bone meal. And there's no other way that I know of to get bones, unless you guys know of a way with these particular mods. So we're not allowed to go to the nether, and we have to stay in peaceful mode. Those are two of the challenges for this series, which makes getting bone meal very, very difficult to get. But if you guys have any ideas, the list of mods is in the description. There's also a list of the mods here. Um, if you guys have any ideas how I can get bones or bone meal or something easier with any of these mods, then let me know. But I think we can just, we just can't do that, basically, right now. Ooh, okay, falling down the hole. <laughs> so, so, let's go ahead and get on to the other project. So, two projects for this episode. One was get the, coal, the uh, coke oven machine running, which it is now currently running. And then the other system was to get the other project rather was to get this door going so the way we want to do this door is eventually i want to have turtles i want to have six turtles and have hopefully in the side of the mountain here have the dirt covering the side of the mountain and that's the idea and then have the turtles go basically the turtles stand here and then go and break the dirt, and then go up into... These blocks won't be there. So they go up into there. The turtles go up out of the way. So then I can walk through in between. There's turtles down below, and there's turtles up above. Walk in, and then the turtles come down into place and place the dirt back down. And then it's completely hidden. There's no traces of the entrance there. That is the idea. In order to do that, we need turtles. We need... The biggest hindrance to doing that is we need the turtles to be able to break things, which means they will need shovels to break the dirt, which means they'll need diamonds, which diamonds are the main thing that we don't have right now, which is why the quarry is over there currently not running because we're out of fuel. But anyways, it would be running. So that's the idea. So in any case, in any case, what we're going to start with this episode, I think I'm going to get pistons instead. Going to get six pistons have them as sort of a, like, in the floor just to push the stone up and down. It's going to be hard to put pistons in the side where the dirt is. But anyways, that's the idea to do that. And let's get started. And maybe have a turtle controlling the pistons. Because we will eventually need a turtle to control the whole thing anyways. So let's go ahead and get the pistons. Now, the pistons, we need sticky pistons. And sticky pistons require slime. Slime balls. And slime balls, you can make them with cactus green, sugar, and cheese curds. Cheese curds are found from cheese ore, which is from the, maybe the moon or something. I'm not sure exactly where, but we're going to be getting there eventually. But we're not there yet. We can make it from polymethyl... Meth, how do you... Polymethyl... Methacrylate... Okay, something like that. <laughs> we can get it from that thing. And that thing, basically, the polymethyl methacrylate takes a bunch of C atoms and a bunch of H atoms and some O's. That is basically how it works. C's and H's and O's happen to be things that we have in abundance back at the base. So I think we're going to go ahead and make some of that stuff. And see how far we get because I'm doing a bit of an experiment let me know what you guys think but I'm gonna try to keep these episode this episode very short and like I'm hoping to keep it close to 20 minutes although the episode has been going for 14 already plus the intro so so we'll see but anyways I'm gonna try to keep this very short see how far we get 
So, in any case, we've got here some, we need some C's and some H's and some O's. H's, and there's a whole stack of O's. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and put them in the synthesizer. So to make slime balls, we need this thing. And you can make this thing, this, so this uh, atom, the polymethylmethacrylate, takes, it's very complicated, the structure of it. So basically you can take it and synthesize it from simpler things. So the simpler thing that you can synthesize it from is methylmethacrylate. Oh, okay. So it looks like polymethylmethacrylate is basically a poly version of the methylmethacrylate. And so that basically means that you take a bunch of methylmethacrylate and put them together and you get polymethylmethacrylate. That's the idea. So anyways, let's make some methylmethacrylate and <laughs> that can be made, can be synthesized from methyl and carbon and oxygen. Let's make some methyl. That is 1C and 3Hs. 1C and 3Hs. Let's put that in. Oh, and we already had some in there. Okay, so 1C and 1, 2, 3Hs. And we should be seeing that we have no power, actually. Uh, that could be a bit of a problem. So I guess we're going to go ahead and head over here and get some coal coke out of the thing that just finished, uh, didn't finish, but it did a lot of coal coke already. Like six. This is going to be quite the job doing this. So when you're out of power, things get very, very difficult. Let's go ahead and fill in the stack of coal completely. And like that. Like, there we go. Let's fill it up to the maximum so that we don't waste any coal. Did I just place the chemical down? I don't think so. Okay, um, not waste any coal, but rather that we don't waste any time by having it wait for coal when we could do something about it. And why do I have glass in my inventory? That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Anyways... Let's go over here, and actually I think the reason that I have glass, because I just changed my hotkeys recently, um, just like in between episodes, and so the key I used to use for inventory goes to slot 7 now, and I have to use equals to get my inventory open, so it makes it a little more difficult. Anyways, we need some power, so let's go ahead and stick some coal coke into this thing, and our quarry will run a little bit as well, but also this thing will run. So, methyl ion, and I don't know how many we're going to need, I'll say like 10 or so. I guess this episode is just setting up and getting some slime or something, or it's rather a disorganized episode. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. How many would we need? We would need six sticky pistons, which means six slime balls, which means six polymethylmethacrylate. And six polymethylmethacrylate comes from uh, six times three, 18 methylmethacrylate, 18 methyl methacrylate comes from. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, 18 times 3 is a good number. That's roughly 60. That's like 56 or 58. Um, not 56. 54 or 52 or something like that, roughly, of methyl. And roughly 40 carbon and roughly 40 oxygen. Those are the easy ones. But me roughly 60 methyl, that is going to take a long time to make. Uh, or maybe not, because we're already almost a third of the way there. So we're doing well. And so while we're doing well, while we're doing that, let's go ahead and get some turtles happening. I think I'm going to create a new turtle for this job. To Oh, actually, not the turtles. Let's go ahead for the... Whoops. Um, did I just take damage? I think that was lag. I think I just took damage from jumping off of the thing. And I'm gathering things into my inventory again. Um, let's try making some tur um, pistons. Let's grab some wood. Grab some more wood. Grab one, two, three, four wood. And there we go. And hang on one second. All right. So here we go. So let's go ahead and get some wood. And sorry about the disorganized episode. <laughs> uh, apparently the plans that we had, the plans that I had for this episode kind of didn't work out. So we got plenty of cobblestone already. We need a little bit of iron and we need a little bit of redstone. 
And let's check on the Coke oven. Let's take that out and stick that in. And let's go ahead and head over here and stick the wood in there. Stick the wood like that. Oh, that would make six pistons just like that. We need to divide up the cobblestone and we need to stick some iron in and some redstone in in the other order you know what it actually makes a lot of sense to have it this way because like put the iron on the outside of the piston like if you imagine this as a piston shape then it makes more sense to have the redstone inside because the iron conducts electricity redstone is basically electricity so the electricity from whatever wire would be coming to the piston would come connect to the iron and go through the iron to the redstone stuff inside and then, as you can see, when you get the pistons down here, you can see that in the back, it looks like stone, actually. It doesn't look like iron. So that doesn't quite make sense. So anyways, we got six pistons. Now we need to get all the... the you know what? I think we'll forget about the turtle side of things for today. We'll save that for when... Uh, or if, for hopefully, when we go to get the proximity detector system, we'll save that for then. But for now, let's just get the pistons in place, uh, not in place yet, because we need some of the materials first. We need some of the slime balls first. Get the pistons into sticky pistons, and we'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and do that. Over here, let's see, how are we doing? Oh, nice! Um, that is plenty, you can stop now. You can stop now, thank you. So, let's stick the methyl back in. How do we make the slime ball again? We need... This, which is made from this, which is made from 3 methyl, 2 carbon, and 2 oxygen. 3 methyl... 1, 2, 3, 3 methyl... 2 carbon and 2 oxygen. There we go. And how many of them do we need? We need... To make polymethyl methacrylate, we need... And we need 6 polymethyl methacrylate, we need 18 methyl methacrylate. And we're currently up to 3. So that's good. Let's go ahead and fuel our engine again, because we're low on power once again. Because cola coke goes really, really fast when it's in a Sterling engine. So 18 of those. So the, oh, wait a minute. We have bone meal. How did we get that? How did we get the bone meal? Do any of you guys remember how we got the bone meal in this um, chemical synthesizer? Because I don't remember how we got that. I don't know if it was a mistake. Maybe it was a mistake, actually. <laughs> Maybe that's all it was. So let's go ahead and get... 18 methyl methacrylate. Um, that's 11. We need more... Uh, not more fuel. What do we need? Oh, we need more something. We need more... Uh, let's stick some of these in. Probably one of those is what we're looking for. Ah, yes. There we go. Oh, and we're good to go. We got 18 methyl methacrylate. So now let's go ahead and take that out. 20 of them. That will do. And let's grab the polymethyl methacrylate is three methyl methacrylate all stacked together so one two three and we're good to go we ha now have our polymethyl methacrylate which we have six of them and all you do is stick them in a chemical synthesis machine to get slime balls so let's go ahead and do that and like that nope that's not it i think you need i think you need to put it in this slot mm oh Oh, the problem is we need only one of them. There we go. One of them produced six times makes six of the thing that we're looking for. Um, hello. There seems to be a problem. And that's that the energy needed. We need a ton of energy that is not being provided very fast by this single engine. And the engine might actually run out before we're done. But anyways, we got two slime balls coming. We need four more... Four more, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Poly. 
Oh, wait, we need, uh, yeah, four, three more slime balls. And then we can make our pistons, and then we can get our thing done, and then we got our door basically done. Four slime balls. I think we're going to run out of power. Yeah, we've run out of power. Let's go ahead and grab some more power. Let's go out our new doorway. Well, not our new doorway. It's our old doorway, but it will be our new doorway as soon as we're done here. Let's grab some of the... Whoops. Not that. Let's grab some of the coal to go and put into the coal, the coke oven. Grab some of that. And that coke oven is very slow, so no sense waiting around for that extra piece of coal. So back up to... Let's call... What should we name... Should we put a, make a name for our base? What do you think we should name our base, if you have any suggestions? And I wonder what we should call this. Let's call this layer one, or should we call um, down near the bedrock layer one? That's, that's a good question. Let's go ahead and stick these into the engine. And one more slime ball. Come on, you're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost there. It really is almost there. It's almost at a thousand energy points that it needs. And there we go. Got six of them. So, yeah, I wonder about calling this layer layer one and then going down from there. And stick our pistons in there. So if we did that, or maybe we should go based on like a, a ground floor kind of idea. Floor one and then floor two and then floor three, stuff like that. Um, what are we looking for? What am I looking for now? I think we need a button, which I think is a uh, stone block. Let's go ahead and make a pressure plate. It's also stone, so we need to get some stone. So if we were to call this floor one, then this would be floor two, and so our entrance would be on floor three. However, if we wanted to call the entranceway floor one, then that would be floor two and floor three, so it would be on the third floor is where our storage room and mine chem room are. So either way, or we could even do it based on down at the bottom of the world, uh, down there at the bottom of our base, and we got a button. Um, hang on a minute, that is going to stand out. <laughs> that is going to stand out a lot. Um, let's try to make a pressure plate, because a pressure plate... You can only see it, really, if you're up high enough. So let's make a pressure plate, then. And that's not the crafting table. That's the crafting table. Pressure plate like that. Pressure plate. And let's go ahead and stick this down. Stick the redstone in place. Get the pistons going. And then we're good to go. There we go. That's our pressure plate done. And let's go ahead like this. And like this. And our pistons are all going to go here, roughly speaking. I just noticed a problem, though. You might have seen this coming for quite a long time. Basically, the pistons need to retract. To move this block, they need to retract so that the block sits here, and then the pistons sit down here, which this copper is going to take a long time to break with a stone pickaxe. There we go. So the pistons would have to sit down here, not that way. Let's go like this. No, 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 no. Let's try this again. Okay, let's put the piston down this way. Okay, two of them. That's not what we're supposed to have. And then let's stick the rest of them in there like that. So basically when they extend, they will grab the blocks and pull them down. And then the ones up here, the blocks need to sit here. So the pistons need to go up here. And that creates a problem. Because when you go outside you can see the pistons. So that's a problem. So I think we need to sort of hide that a little bit. So let's try it like that. And like that. And we're going to need some more dirt, actually, to complete the job. We don't have any dirt on us, so let's go ahead and grab some dirt. Like that. There we go. And grab the dirt and stick it on the piston. There we go. So that looks a little less uh, like it stands out. So there we go. So let's go ahead and stick the redstone in place to get the pistons activated. So right underneath the... Let's break this one, actually. Right underneath the pressure plate, 
is where the redstone is going to go. The pressure plate, if you don't know much about how redstone works, basically the pressure plate will power this block, and then this block will send the power, if I'm doing this right, I haven't done this in quite a while, but this block will send the power down to here, and then I think they won't actually connect with the pistons because they're at the wrong angle. So <laughs> let's find out. Oh, it actually did work. And now we should see that only the middle piston is actually extending. So let's go ahead and, and do something about that. So these things need to actually properly connect with the pistons. Basically, you see, they're not pointing to the pistons. The reason that this piston extended, I'm not actually sure. But that that's an interesting thing. If you guys know why this piston was extending, then let me know, because I, I don't know why it was doing that. But anyways, you go over here, and let's go ahead and stick the redstone right under the piston. And then that way, the power will transfer to the piston, if I'm doing this correctly. As I said, it's been quite a long time since I did redstone. So, like that. And now, let's not put the piston down there. Let's put it up one block higher. Like that. There we go. Now we should see that all three blocks... Oh, okay, okay, it's because the redstone has to actually be pointing to to the piston, not just simply underneath it. That would make a big difference, and that would make it give us some problems. So let's go ahead and break that. Let's go ahead and send this redstone over here. And let's see. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. I probably should have designed this off camera. Let's go ahead. The The redstone needs to be pointing to the piston. Let's go around, actually. That might be a good way to do things. Let's go around the outside and point the redstone to the piston that way. So basically send the redstone around this way and then point it that way. That way it is pointing to the piston and then we'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and break this one as well. And oh boy, we've got some copper here that's going to take a while to get through. And now it's raining. <laughs> nice. Okay, there we go. And break that, and break that, and break that. And now we need to bring it around one more. Because basically what happens is the redstone points to whatever it's connecting to, except for blocks that it doesn't naturally connect to. So with the piston here, which I'm not going to place it down right now because we need to get out still, but with the piston there, with the redstone there, this redstone angles itself to point to the redstone. And because it's now pointed at the piston, now it can get to the piston. So that's the idea. So anyways, let's go ahead and connect that like that. And now I think we are good to go. Let's go ahead and place this piston in place. Like that. And place this piston in place. Whoops, not like that. Let's place it in place like that, and then take this one and place it in place right here, and now we should see it work. That is the plan. Yes! Yes, it worked. It worked successfully. Now, the only thing we need is stone to fill in this last little bit. So now you can see how it's going to work when we get it done. So, whoops, hello. Um, well, except for one problem, which you probably have seen coming for quite a long time. And that problem is the fact that we need a redstone torch, which we don't happen to have. Nope, we don't happen to have that. We need a redstone torch because we need to invert the signal, basically. The pistons right now, they extend. They extend whenever we step on the pressure plate. We want them to retract whenever we step on the pressure plate. So let's go ahead and get in here. And get under the pressure plate we want we want a piece of redstone under the pressure plate yes and then we want over here we want a redstone torch so now it doesn't power these blocks let's go ahead and fix that put the redstone down there and put this oh dear that's going to be a problem so now we've got two of them extended but the middle one is not extended because the torch is not actually powering that sticky piston so let's go ahead and get around this way and oh dear 
This is going to make things difficult. How are we going to get in? <laughs> We've just locked ourselves out of the house. Yay! <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and break this and get through this way. We're breaking into our own house. And now let's go ahead and that was not supposed to be removed from there. We just removed part of the floor. And let's go ahead and get this redstone down there. And there we go. So now it's not working because it just took... So as you can see, the redstone is now pointing to the other... Excuse me. The redstone is now pointing to the other redstone. So it removes from the piston. So that's what I was saying about angling the, uh, the redstone to point it in the right direction. So that's the thing. So anyways, we need to go ahead and put the redstone over here like that. There we go. So now let's go ahead and fill the floor back in. And now we should see... Now, I'm suspecting that whatever it was that was powering the piston before, I think it was this that was powering the piston. But I suspect that that is going to cause problems because it that will power the piston and then when this torch... Uh, so the torch right now is powering the piston. And then when the torch goes off, that will also light up and power the piston as well. So I'm expecting that the door won't open. Yep, that's exactly what happened. So let's go ahead and try to figure this out. So what we're going to need is to do something. This is going to be difficult. This is going to be very difficult. Let's see. We need to get the... We could put the torch on the front of this block over here. But then we'd need to redesign the whole front of the mountain to accommodate for that, so that wouldn't be very good. Um, what if... So, what happens is... The pressure plate powers this block, but that block will connect to redstone, but if we put a block there instead, it won't power that block. So, we can't, like, take the redstone torch and place the redstone torch on the front of that block because it won't actually turn it off. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. That's going to be a lot of a problem, actually. So what we're going to need to do is... Uh, move the door in a block, maybe, is what we need to do. Maybe... Perhaps. Oh! Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. So, I just noticed here, that part of the mountain, that part of the mountain over there is really tall. And then it cuts down and then it goes back up. So if we just fill this in, then it won't even really be noticed. So, this way, we could have our door do something like having the... What was they going to do with that? Oh, yeah, I was going to send... The, <laughs> okay, I was going to send the... the torch, put it on the front of this block. So this is the block that is powered by the pressure plate. So that's the idea. And then we can cover this over and leave a way in still. But we can cover this over and cover this over like that. And... That's going to be a bit of a problem over there, but I think it looks reasonably good. And cover this over as well. There we go. So I think now we're good to go. So now we just need to make this a little bit taller. Oh, and then the, the blocks are going to be visible. That's not going to be good. Um, this is going to make it difficult. You know what? For now, for a temporary solution, let's do like that. So then we get in like this way, around like that. So let's go ahead and that activates the torch. That turns the torch off. So we are going to want the torch to be here. And to... Let's get this redstone. We're going to want the torch to power the redstone. Which it will do! 
Nice! Okay, so I think we got our, our working door now. Let's go ahead and check that out. At least the... Nope. Nope, something's wrong. Something's wrong. Oh, I think what's happening... Okay, so I think what's happening here is we step on the pressure plate, and then the piston is extended, so the piston is right beside... So the pressure plate is powering this block of grass, and then right beside that, underneath this stone block, is piston. So I think the, the power from this block here is transferring into the piston. I think that's what's happening. And so it's holding the piston in a powered state. I think that's what's happening. And now we have a thunderstorm. Nice. So I think what we need to do, I think it would have been a lot easier actually to just go with the button in the first place. <laughs> So, let's go ahead and do that. Le um, but where? Where could we put the button? Where it won't be obvious. Um, let's stick the button right there, I think. That would be very good. So, let's go ahead and grab some stone. And, actually, we have the stone. Let's go ahead and make the button. Like that. And then this ought to be fairly easy to do. All we need to do is stick that there remove this pressure plate and go ahead and stick the button stick the which block was it I don't know which block it was I think it was that block that the button was on uh, that would make sense actually because that's a grass block so I think it's that block so if we put something right underneath the button like right here there we go and stick the redstone down there uh, then it cuts off the piston. So that's no good. So let's go ahead and instead stick the thing behind the button. So I'm pretty sure that's the button right there. And we need another pickaxe. Pretty sure that's the button right there. So let's go ahead and stick something there. Stick the... Whoops. Now we're stuck. There we go. Let's go ahead and stick the redstone right beside the button there. So that should get powered when the button gets powered. And then we can run the redstone line down that way. And like that, and like that, and then right down here is where we would get the torch set up. So let's go ahead and get through, get to the torch to invert the signal. Nice, we got the torch. And now let's go ahead and stick that down there stick this down there, and now we should see every piston extended. Nice! That's exactly what we're looking for. And I don't think we need... Let's go... Um, I don't think we need that trail of redstone across the front anymore. Let's find out. No, we don't. Let's go ahead and go back here and place redstone around the back. There we go. So now that redstone will connect. So now we no longer need this trail over here. We can clean this up a bit. And get through to here. Clean this up a bit as well. There we go. And I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead and fill that back in. And now we can actually remove the... Get our shovel. We can actually remove this dirt that we just placed down and get it back to normal so that we can actually get through the door very easily. Oh, that's not supposed to be removed. There we go. Let's leave that there. And fill that in. Fill that in. And does that stand out a lot? No, it doesn't. Looks good. Looks good to me. So let's go ahead and do like that. And one last thing to do over here is to replace these with dirt. There we go. Now our entrance is mostly hidden. That button is still kind of obvious if you happen to see it from the right angle. So anyways, so now we push that button and the bottom part of the door opens. So now we need to work on the top part of the door. And that's those pistons over there. So let's go ahead and get some redstone going to those pistons. Similar kind of idea. Let's go ahead and get some stone fill this back in. So what we're going to be doing is pointing the redstone directly to the pistons. 
So let's get up here. And out of the way of, like, out of the, out of the tunnel and get to the pistons are over here. There we go. So what we're gonna need to do again is not that. We're gonna need to send a trail of redstone from this direction. And like that, we're going to need to send it pointing to the piston from that side. Because one thing that happens, we put a redstone there pointing to that piston. Then we put a redstone here to point to that one, and it redirects, and so it doesn't hit either of them. So that's why we need to point from different directions. It's a lot easier if you have redstone repeaters, but we don't have access to either uh, to those things just yet. So let's go ahead and get over here. And then from here, let's go ahead and stick some redstone down and point to that piston over there and cover the connection between the redstone dust and stuff and I think we're almost good to go so the only other thing is to get it down down to the connection down underground so let's go ahead and do that and I think we need to take it across here so let's Let's make a staircase for the redstone right down here. And connect it down like that. And then head down oop, and break that. And get down here. And we're going to be filling that back in so that we won't even see this trail here. And I think we need to go actually down this way to get down all the way. And there we go. There's the redstone. That is not where I was expecting to land, but we landed there, and that's exactly where we need to be. So let's get up like that, and there we go. So now we should see that almost all of them have extended because we ran out of power. <laughs> because redstone signal travels 16 blocks, and apparently we're more than 16 blocks. So let's check this out. We could we could move the torch over, actually. We could definitely do that. Let's stick the torch on this side of the block over here. Whoops. Get back here. Torch. There we go. Let's stick it on this side of the block. That way, we've just gained about one, two, three spaces, I think. So, now we can... Whoa! We just created a, uh... We just created an infinite loop. And just burnt out the torch. Let's get rid of that. So that's an infinite loop because what's happening, the torch is powering the redstone that I put here. The redstone is then turning the torch off and then it's creating an infinite loop like that. So anyways, let's let's forget about that. And uh, let's, uh, let's place our torch again. And let's try that again. That way, this could be a bit of a problem if because there's no way to do it without creating an infinite loop that I can see, unless we go ahead and, let's say, get some cobblestone and make this a little taller and go ahead and place some cobblestone. Nope, that's some stone. Cobblestone over there. And place the redstone torch down over here. And then we can put the dust across the top then the dust won't connect with the dust that's down here. So then we'll be good. So that's the idea. So let's make sure all the pistons down here are powered, which they are. Let's make sure all the pistons up top are powered as well. And there we go. So they're all powered. So now we should be able to see that we forgot to put a button inside. <laughs> um, that's, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. But I think we're good to go. I think we can break that and place the button where can we put the button actually let's put the button over here let's put the button over here on the so the button will be let's make a button actually that would be helpful the button will be over here it will be on this side and then place the redstone behind it 
like that, and place the redstone dust like that. So now we push the button on the other side of that block, and it should power the redstone and power the torch. So now we should be able to push the button on either side of the wall, and get the... Whoa, okay, that's not what I wanted to put there. We should be able to push the button on either side of the wall, and get the result that we're looking for, and the thunderstorm's done. Yay. Um, let's go ahead and place that one down there. Okay, that's dark. So, and fill that in as well. Now, it's really dark. Hopefully you guys can see. Um, do I have any? Yeah, I do have torches. Let's actually fix that right now. There we go. Um, that's not centered. There we go. So now we should be able to go like this and push the button and the door opens. Nice. And we should be able to see that on the other side as well. Nice. And it's nice and fast. If you don't know, wooden buttons take longer than stone buttons to open and to uh, power and unpower. And what happens if I stand right here? Okay, that probably wasn't the smartest idea. Anyways, wooden buttons take longer than stone buttons. Stone buttons are very, very fast to power and unpower. And so that means that the door is not open for long. I'm curious what it looks like from out here when the light open, when the light shines through and shines to outside. That would make it interesting. But anyways, that is the Piston Door version 1 complete. And let's just make sure that we didn't get any, uh... Oh, you know what? Putting the stone button over here would have been a good idea. But I think that's going to make a lot more complications, which we're not ready for just now. Um, oh, we forgot some cobblestone. And... There we go. And now I think that we are good to go. It looks a little bit odd. Like, I think we really need to put the dirt down to cover the thing. Because it looks a little bit odd, this rectangular cutout in the mountain. It looks like there's something there. So then you walk up to it and you're like, oh, there's a button. And push the button and then you go in. But I think we're pretty much good to go for that. I don't see any traces of anything sticking out anywhere. So I think we're good to go, and that's that for the stone door, the um, piston door, version 1. Let's check on our coke oven, and stick a bunch more coal into the coke oven. There we go. And next episode, hopefully we'll have enough coal to come back and get our machines going, our, um, our turtle water remover, that is now very nicely behind this door. <laughs> this is this is great. I love the uh, the piston sound. It sounds very nice, um, very very impressive sounding is what it sounds like. So, anyways, so that's that. Let's see. We wanted to get the turtle water remover going, or at least the uh, the coke oven happening. We wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about the power situation. And our power situation is currently currently uh, not very good. Because we need bone meal to get the, um, the, the, the crucibles. So, if you guys know any easier way to get bone meal, any way that is added by any of these mods that I, uh, am unaware of, then let me know. But for now, I think we'll just have to maybe find another lava lake or something and get the thing rolling again. And get back to our main, uh, project. Which, by the way, our main project, if you're new to the series, that, uh, our main project that we're working on currently, rather is to make a super fast cobblestone generator and eventually turn that into lava and get lava generation from that. But we can create all of the mine chem machines and then create cobblestone super fast and then basically take that and work on... work on, like, we can take the cobblestone and convert it into pretty much anything with using the mine chem machines. So that's great. And let's go ahead and sleep for a second. So, basically, that's it. So, let's see. Was there anything else I wanted to do this episode? Um. Oh, yeah. Just a couple of things that happened in between episodes that I forgot to mention. Was up top on the surface, up here. So, I moved the power pipe down. That was there before. The power pipe that ran to the quarry. I moved it down underground. And... While moving the power pipe, I damaged some of the uh, some of the trees by accident, so I removed some trees. So if you guys are like 
if you guys see that and you're like, oh, what's happening? Well, yeah, I, I removed some trees. And to sort of, because you have a damaged tree, it looks like somebody's been there, so it kind of leaves traces and stuff. Um, let's see. I also, <laughs> in between episodes, I was moving the the system down, the power system, the turtle lava fueling system, and we're stuck. So I was moving that down, and I died several times to falling down the, the turtle pathway. <laughs> like that! That was not supposed to happen! <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get back, uh, get back down through our nice door over here. Let's get back down and get our stuff again. So that's that, and I think we're just about good to go. So yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna go get my stuff back, and, uh, <laughs> so... Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and see you later. Bye-bye!